You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's done. Okay, uh, today's video is going to be a review on the Bob's Auto Sport air oil separator. I got two of these. I got one for the 2015 Subaru Forester, and the other one is for a uh, 2013 uh, Toyota Tacoma V6. Uh, I had an initial problem with this car. It was a burning oil from the factory as a new car, and we had to have the short block replaced in it. And now it really doesn't use any oil, but just because of um, the nature of this, this engine, I didn't want it using any oil by way of the intake manifold either, because when you ingest an air oil vapor into the intake manifold, it tends to lower the, the uh, octane rating of your gasoline and it might have the car ping. So I got two of them, both from direct, I got them both directly from Bob's Auto Sports. They're in Florida and I, I got their universal kit and just basically adapted it to what I'm doing. Uh, what it does is it puts this air oil separator in between the uh, intake manifold and the, the PCV valve and it intercepts your, your, the mist of oil that would normally go into the intake manifold. Uh, over here on this car, you see I've mounted it here. I mounted just to this unused little fitting right here on the car and I tucked it up underneath this and that's very stable it hasn't moved since I put it in there and I generally check these about every two weeks or so so right now I'm going to empty this one into this cut off piece of cup in order to see about how much oil that it's gotten in about two weeks and this is average just normal everyday driving Surprisingly, I get more with the Tacoma than I do with the Subaru. You just let it uh, do its thing. Do its thing, let it drain out. Let it drip a little bit and just turn it back off. Okay, and that's about as much oil as you get with two week, about two weeks of normal driving in hot weather. In colder weather, it's not quite that much, but that's about average what you get. It's about a teaspoon every two weeks. All right. Um, its installation is simple. You just put this in between the PCV valve and where it normally goes into the intake manifold. Uh, now we'll go over and check out the one that's on the Tacoma. All right, uh, this is the one on the 2013 Tacoma. And uh, originally I got this. This was a, a new, fairly new truck. It's, uh, it was using about a half a quart every 1,500 miles or so. And I didn't think that that was quite right. So I, when I got this and I initially installed it over here, I took this fitting, this the rubber off there, and on the Subaru I had a bit of oil residue, but on this one uh, it was dry. So that led me to believe there might be something going on with the PCV valve. So when I installed this, I also removed the PCV valve, which is down in there. I pulled that out, and it was kind of gooked up. So I cleaned it with carburetor cleaner and freed it up, and that pretty much took care of my oil usage problem. Um, because the, the PCV valve was stuck and I believe it was blowing by the pressure in the crankcase was blowing by the oil rings and it was using it that way. Um, so when I, at the time I did that is when I installed this one and surprisingly this one usually has more oil in here than the Subaru does. Um, I'm going to drain it right now so you can see about how much oil it has after about two weeks of normal driving. This one's a little bit harder to get to. And this one usually has a bit more. I'll let that drain into there for a little while. 
All right, um, as I said, I got these directly from Bob's Auto Sports in Florida. You can find them on the web. Um, these run, I think they were, I think they're around a hundred, maybe 120 bucks or something like that a piece. I got the universal ones and just adapted it to my usage. But uh, I got these after watching the YouTube video where they had a shootout between this, a Shelby, and like the knockoff of the Shelby for the Mustang GT or GT500. Um, and I thought it was a good idea and I've been very happy with it. This seems to be probably the best performing one on the market for definitely for the price as well. Uh, this pretty much catches every drop of oil you can imagine. Um, so now I'm going to pull this out and you'll get to see how much oil this thing catches in the course of about two weeks of normal driving in hot weather. And the Tacoma always catches more. With a little bit harder location. As you can see, that's pretty substantial. That's a lot of oil for two weeks of uh, normal driving in hot weather. That's like two times the other one. That's, that's probably two tablespoons at least of oil. All that oil would have been going into the intake manifold and being burned lowering the uh, octane of your uh, your fuel air mix and it's better that it's not in in your intake manifold that's quite a bit of oil and that's just yeah. like literally that's two weeks worth of normal driving back and forth to work and I did pull a trailer last weekend so that might have might have helped it out with a little bit more than normal but uh, that's quite a bit of oil and it shows you what a great job this air oil separator does yeah. um, and for the price you really can't beat it I've got to give it a good thumbs up for that and like I said this is a, a universal application you can put this on any car you just put it in line with uh, the PVC PCV valve and that's what it does it, it obviously does a very good job by, by based on the amount of oil that it catches um, so I would uh, highly recommend this and you know especially if you have a race car you're going to be subject to a lot more stressful use or if you have a car that naturally has a lot of oil blow by uh, it would be a good purchase for it and uh, it works really good I mean that's that's pretty good testimony that's a lot of oil a lot of oil all right um, if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, feel free to make any comments you want, ask any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. And like I said, this is Bob's Auto Sports uh, Oil Air Separator, universal application, and it works very good. I highly recommend it. Thanks.